Here's our scripture text for this morning. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. It says, These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. How are you today? How are things going? Are you feeling tired and frustrated? Are things just not going your way? Now, have you ever cried out, Lord, Please make it stop. Well, in case you haven't noticed, it won't ever stop. Sa buhay na ito, mga kapatid, ay lagi tayong may kakaharaping mga pagsubok, mga mahirap na mga uh, suliranin. There we will, we will face difficulties in, in this lifetime. But the good news is that with each faith-testing experience, our ability to deal with these trials, with these tribulations, become better and our faith grows stronger. Tayo ay lumalakas, nagiging mas marunong, at nagiging mas matibay. Now, sa salita ng Diyos, Inihalin tulad niya ang ating pananampalataya to a most precious and beautiful metal. Hindi ba't kanina nabasa natin? Inihambing niya ang ating pananampalataya sa ginto or gold. When mined, this precious metal, no, pag ito ay nahukay oy, or natagpuan, itong... Uh, Gold ay hindi mo na ganun ka ganda tignan. Hindi siya mukhang uh, mamahalin or precious. Kadalasan, it's dirty and dark. So, how does gold become the brilliant, beautiful, expensive metal we've come to expect? A refiner takes the gold. And what will he do with it? He will slowly melt it. But the, finer, the refiner will be very careful in raising the temperature because he does not want to hit the point of boiling. So, kailangan maingat siya sa pagpapainit din ito. So, habang natutunaw po ang ginto, the impurities, yung mga dumi po nito, would rise to the surface. And they would be removed, leaving behind a beautiful uh, pot of gold. And here's the amazing part. The refiner, the way he would know that the gold is ready is when he can look into the melting pot and see his reflection. Ibig sabihin, pwede na. Okay na. Okay? So in other words, the only way gold will become precious is when it is placed under fire. Alam nyo, ganun din po sa buhay natin. Madalas, yung mga kailangan baguhin, kailangan alisin, yung mga mali sa buhay natin, they must be exposed to the fire so that the Lord can scoop up the filth that is revealed under fire. And just like the refiner, God will never allow us to boil. Alam ng Panginoon kung hanggang saan. Alam ng Panginoon kung ano yung tama na pagsubok na, na dapat niyang ibigay sa atin. Marunong ang Panginoon. Finally, when it's all said and done, God can look upon us and see the beauty of His reflection in our lives. Napaganda, no? So, 
Huwag po nating sayangin yung time na tayo ay nakatingin sa problema at masisira yung araw natin, hindi na tayo masaya. Let's not waste time focusing on uh, whatever trials we're facing today. On the contrary, knowing this, this is a plan of God, let's embrace them. The Lord is using these things to prepare us to do great things for Him. So instead na magalit ka, instead na uh, magtanim ka ng sama ng loob, instead of bitterness, when a tough season hits, what we can do is to ask the Lord how you can grow in character and in faith. And watch how the Lord blesses you through the fire. May the Lord bless His Word in our hearts today. Have a wonderful day, brethren. Good morning.